breaking news right now as state police raid the Logansport compound where the parents of Bryson Muir live, and that includes Daniel Muir, a former Indianapolis Colts player. Of course, we've been following this story for some time after police say Bryson went missing back on June 16th. Fox 59's Eric Graves has his, uh, been part of this coverage since the early onset, and Eric, it does sound like there is some good news here. Zach and Angela, we have been told that Bryson Muir has been found. That's 14 year old boy missing since June 16th when his grandmother first called police in the Cleveland area. We are here in Cass County just outside Logansport. I want to give you a closer look at the investigation going on right now. We're on Sadler Hill Drive. This is just on the other side of US 24 west out of Logansport where the Muir property is. We believe this to be a very large property. As you can see, this is three state police cars, three state police officers with large weapons. There's another state police officer off to my right over here that appears to be operating a drone, taking a look out over this property. We believe it to be a couple dozen acres back here from what we have been able to tell. We brought you here for the first time last Wednesday a week ago and gave you a view from the US 24, a gate there, a locked gate, big lock on it, several no trespassing signs along with several homes on the property. This was when we had just been told of Bryson Muir's disappearance. 14 year old here in Logansport, son of Daniel Muir, former Colts player, Kristen Muir, his mom. He was last seen by his grandma on June 16th. He was beaten and battered at the time. A black eye, a split lip, a swollen face. I talked to his grandma a few days ago. She told me he doesn't know how many times that boy had to have been hit for his face to look like that and Bryson admitted that it was his father Daniel Muir who had hit him and that has been the subject of this ISP work for the past week now as they have tried to get a hold of these parents. It's been an unusual case when you usually have a missing child the parents are the biggest advocate trying to find their child this time the parents not helping. They had believed they had a meetup plan for Friday as we do see uh, ISP begin to get in their cars out here. Now I was able to take a a look around the bend as they have us back here at a safe distance. There was an armored SWAT vehicle inside and we believe there to be dozens of officers combing this property right now as they have got into custody. The Muir parents, Daniel and Kristen, and they do have 14 year old Bryson in custody. As we're told, I'm going to move out of the road here as we've got a state police vehicle coming past us. That's a Logansport police vehicle actually. Uh, Angela and Zach, I'm going to throw it back to you. We're going to try and get more information. We're going to try and talk to state police on camera today to talk about uh, this very large investigation going on behind us right now here in Cass County, just outside Logansport. Yeah, Eric, I want to talk to you a little Guys. bit too because we've been getting so many, you know, first of all, people that live in Logansport. Um, we started getting tips mm -hmm. early this morning saying, hey, we're seeing like a caravan. What is happening? Um, yes. Different neighbors saying, hey, I live where you are really close. Have you actually, I know you just got there, I'm guessing you haven't gotten to see anyone yet. Has anybody come out even just asking you um, what's happening? You know, I've, I've made a few calls this morning as we've gotten some of those reports from neighbors saying, hey, we're seeing, some people reported seeing as many 60 police cars gathering just a mile from this, prepared to do this. I can tell you that the other entrance to this compound off US 24, they have it blocked just off the highway that's probably just a few hundred yards behind us. So we, we came around here to the back entrance to give it a, a little bit better of a picture of what they're doing. I know this isn't much, but we're going to try and get you some more visuals. And there is, there are houses around this. This is a more rural part of Logansport, but there certainly are some homes here. So we're going to try and talk to as many neighbors as we can. Uh, what we do know is, is the folks who live here, the Muirs, and we believe more people are well known in this community. And Eric, just from what you can see from your vantage point, uh, we can see the cars behind you. Have you seen anyone yet leaving the property or anyone uh, being taken out yet or so far has had all been contained back behind those trees? It appears to have been contained. We got here just about seven o'clock this morning, so just a few minutes uh, we've been on scene. I've talked to the, the state police officers behind me. I asked them and I said, hey, is everything going well so far? And they said yes. Uh, obviously, they're not going to tell me much at this point as they wait for uh, public information officers to do that sort of thing. So we are hoping to hear from one of them soon, but that is certainly a good sign. We have not seen anyone leave to this point, though, Zach.
Yeah, and that other question too is, as you were getting, I know Eric, and so were we, why can't police go in there and raid it? People think that you can just get a search warrant super easy. They mm. think, you know, well, if you think there's something going on, you should be able to raid it. Um, and then finally, we know obviously that at some point here within the last couple of days, they've been able to obtain a search warrant. Um, I don't think that you might not have any insight on that, Eric, but maybe that, I mean, I know you've talked to people that are asking you, why hasn't more been done since the silver alert was issued? Well, and that's a question we've been asking police since this kind of started is, is there going to be a plan to eventually go into this property because you have these two parents that have not been cooperating with their missing son who the last time he was seen had severe injuries and there was a fear of course that he could have even worse injuries or even worse could have happened to 14 year old Bryson Muir so that has been a question we've been asking and that's something that state police told me as as late as Monday that they have been exploring so this is something that's been on the horizon and appears something uh, that has happened today, obviously. Uh, those, co those processes, like you said, Angela, are complicated. Uh, and hopefully we're going to find out more as to what has happened to lead up to this search warrant, to what, what had to have happened for state police to get that piece of paper from a judge to be able to go onto this property this morning. Eric Graves live for us uh, in uh, Logansport right now. Eric, great hustle out there, great work out there, getting there quickly, and we'll keep checking in with you this morning. Appreciate it. Thank you. Excellent work.